30 years ago, that this gentleman, he was being treated like a royalty. He doesn't need to do anything at home, be it washing dishes, ironing his own clothing, school clothing, or anything at home. What he need to do is just focus on his study. The rest will be taken care by his parents. I'm not sure whether any of you have been treated like a royalty before. Yeah. Good. Okay. In Toastmaster, all members and guests are being treated like a royalty. So I would like to welcome our guests from other clubs. We have our immediate past president, Mr. Jerry. We have uh, TME from uh, Sato Hati. We also have uh, two toastmasters from University of Malaya Toastmaster Club, my Carmen and Karen. At the same time, we have a guest, yeah, Mei Chen. Yeah. Welcome. Without yeah. further ado, I would like to pass control to our Toastmaster at the beginning. Good evening, everyone. Well, surely at one time or another, you were treated like a royalty. Or maybe for those of you who are married, you've been treated like a royal couple for a day. Imagine that you are dressed up. But everybody wait for your arrival, yes, and then you come to a grand hall for your oh yeah, yes, the grand yeah, wedding reception. Yes, those were the moments that where yes, you may be treated like the royalty. Or maybe there were times that where you actually met any members of the royal family. Have you? Anyone? Or maybe you were a guest of honor at somewhere or something. That you get to be seated together right in front, in front of the wedding hall. Well, of course, this team was chosen in conjunction with, because they are going birthday this weekend, 9th of uh, September. And yes, for them, yes, they are royalty 24 hours every day. They are royalty. Well, for the rest of us, yes, we do get a little bit royalty here and there. Maybe you had a friend who is, what, a friend who, because of his or her recommendation, you are able to get into an expensive restaurant. That even a head waiter, he would clear the table just for you. There are times that you were treated that way. Yes, and also there are other times that where you get to be in a very expensive car that maybe your friend or someone go to you. And yes, and you can be at the back seat as if that you actually own the car and you've been chauffeured around. So these are the moments that where, yes, we also get treated like royalty as well. Then there are times that exactly just that. We go, people give us a special treatment simply because either we get the worthy recognition that we deserve or simply because we are with someone important, yes, we get that as well. Or maybe like, maybe you are the king or the queen in your own field, like, like the king of pop for instance. Because of he is the way he is, he gets a title, yes. Or maybe you still with the that king, the king of rock and roll. Or maybe that you are in the field or something, that's why you get recognition for that. Yes, you will treat them with, with, as royalty simply because you are the expert or you are the, yes, the pioneer in that field. So these are the moments that we like, like to take and remember. Those times that we come to them. Okay, anyway, why we are here, why we are here, simply because a long time ago, I need to introduce this. Yes, a long time ago, someone thought of an idea to come up with a Toastmasters meeting, a place that where young people can come together and start practicing their speech, and at the same time their speech gets evaluated as well. Of course, that person you know is come to know today as Dr. Ralph C. Smedley. Now, how he started? First, I'm going to chronicle more on his life simply because of, of this one factor. 
of course he started, if you remember, his day job was, he used to work at the YMCA. YMCA stands for Young Men Christian, Christian, that's right, <laughs> Association, yes, YMCA, and that's what they, they do over there, that they actually provide some educational courses. In fact, you can go to the YMCA in KL, and they still do that. They still have courses which you can take, and you can improve yourself on certain things, whatever course they have in mind. Likewise, Dr. Smelly, being a director in YMCA, he came up with this idea that we have a place we can come together and improve on as our public speaking and as well as know how to conduct a meeting and yes, among other things as well. So that idea, he had the idea, he kept on, but originally he was not where he is. If you remember, he was not from California as some of you may remember. He's actually from way across on the other side, he's from Illinois. And then from Illinois to California, that will be that's practically you're across or go across USA and he came to Santa Ana, California. And why he's there simply because, well, it's simple. He was posted there. When he was posted there, Santa Ana didn't have the YMCA building. So that was his reason for his posting. He's supposed to go there and set up one over there, and which he did. And then after setting up the YMCA over there, then he continued with his idea of having a Toastmasters meeting, and there it began. From what year again? Anyone remember? 1924. 1924. And, and so it began, and he continued. Right there and then. And he continued all throughout the life, his life, but at certain point, he was still working for the YMCA and he was trying to do this on the side but eventually he decided to leave the YMCA and he was doing this full time and right and continue on and eventually he became what he is today Toastmasters International and of course they started to have their own headquarters as well and uh, yes and right there and he was given the honorary title and also the honorary place for being the member on Board of Toastmasters for life, right up to the day of his passing. You know, this month will be a sad month simply because, well, his death anniversary is actually in this month. Yes, he passed on on 11 of September in 1965. Of course, you may remember 11 of September or something else, but that was that was a day. Of course, way back in 1965, yes, he passed on that day. Of course, at the right old age. And having seen that, Toastmasters International has grown to be so, yes, has spread out to at least to a wide degree in North America. And there you go. Then we have today Toastmasters all over the world, as the last count that we had right now, spread over in 141 countries. That's the latest statistics right there, I just read. And over in 16,100 clubs. And the membership is posting about what, 345,000. That is the current status. And all of us here are part of this. Okay, now having introduced what is Toastmasters all about, okay, then we go to what, and what is this meeting all about. So as what you would expect in a meeting like this, they all come together, some people will do speeches, and of course, and some will do evaluation of those speeches, and as well as their additional roles as well comes along with it. And we will introduce that one by one. Yes, we do not have the general evaluator at the moment. Then we have the <coughs> I mean, I mean, the stand in. Oh. Okay, right. The stand in. Okay, right. We will come to this turn. Okay, as you know, as we go on with this meeting, as we go on with this meeting, we will have three sessions right there. Of course, we will two speaking first, then followed by the project speech. Then, of course, the evaluation for those projects, which as well. But all throughout, the listening, all throughout, these are the role players.